Hi, dear students. Welcome to today's class. Are you ready to start our today's lesson? Yes. Excellent. I am very happy to be at your service and I am sure that you study your daily lessons as well. What was your yesterday's lesson or previous lessons? Do you remember? Excellent. We have studied a lot of things. Prime number, composite number, factorizations, and a lot. And now we are going to continue the title which you see on the whiteboard. What is that? Factorization of natural number. Factorization of natural number. Okay, before starting that, I have given you some assignments or homework. Did you do them? If you have any problems, write on the comment of YouTube and we will share the answers of them with you. Okay, today we are going to study more about factorization of natural number. Let's get a start to know the first title of today's lesson. What is that? Number of factors of n. What is n? Natural number. Excellent. Number of factors of n. By the end of this lesson, you will understand how to find the number of factors of a natural number. You know factors. You know factors. Let A, B, C. A, B, C. B prime numbers. Prime numbers. They have only two factors. The prime numbers have only two factors. Who can tell me? One and itself. Excellent. Prime numbers and x, y, z belongs to n. It means there are three numbers which are belongs to natural number. A, B, C are prime number. X, Y, Z are natural number. If A is equal to A is a number. If A is equal to A to the power of X, multiple B to the power of Y, multiple C to the power of Z. For example, 24 is A. Okay? It, it, it's equal A to the power of X. A is, for example, 2. To the power of x, what is x? 3. Multiply b to the power of y. c is b. To the power of 1. And multiply c to the power of z. Or we have more numbers. Okay? If a is equal to this, is prime factorization. You studied prime factorization. Is prime factorization of a. These are prime factorization of a. Then, how we can find the number of factors of A? Then the number, the number of factors of A is, okay, what is this? Power X, multiple 1, plus 1, X plus 1, multiply, what is this? Y, plus 1, it means 1 is, 1 should be remember always for you. And what is this? Z. Z plus 1. If I multiply these numbers, if I multiply these numbers, what do we find? Excellent. Number of factors of n. In order to understand it better, we have to find the number of factors of 24. Example. Find the number of factors of 24. We have two steps to find the number of factors of 24. Step 1. At first we analyze. We analyze 24. We analyze and you know the steps of analysis. 24 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 multiply 3 to the power of. It is step 1. In step 2, we compare this number with the formula. What is this? 24. I write 24. It is equal a to the power of x. It means 2 to the power of 3. Multiply 3 to the power of 1. 
Now, what is our formula? X plus 1 multiply Y plus 1 and Z plus 1. Okay, what is that? What is X in here? 3. 3 plus 1 multiply 1 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is what? How much is 3 plus 1? 4. 4 multiply 1 plus 1 is 2. 4 multiply 2 is 8. 8. It means how many factors do we have in, four, in 24? 8 fa factors. For example, 24 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. How many factors do we have? 8 factors. Okay, dear students, now we are going to study greatest common factor. Greatest common factor. In short, we say GCF. Okay? If I say GCF, what does it mean? Greatest common factor. We define it first. The GCF of two or more n. n it means natural number. The GCF of two or more natural number. It means if we have two natural number or more than two natural number is the greatest number, is the greatest number, biggest number, which the given, which the given numbers, which the given numbers, that is a, the greatest number, which the given numbers are divisible by it. Okay, there is an example for you to understand the definition better. GCF of 24 and 36 is 12. What does it mean? It means 12 is the greatest number. 12 is the greatest number that 24 and 36 are divisible by it. And here it is written, two or more than two numbers. We have two numbers. How many numbers do we have? Two, 24 and 36 is the greatest number. What is that greatest number? 12. Which the given number. What are the given number? 24 and 36. These are the given numbers. Or divisible by it. It means 24 divided by 12 is how much? 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Now, if I prove this, I can analyze this. 2, 1, 2, 1, 8. Again, divisible by 2. 6, 9. These both are divisible by 3. 2 and 3. We cannot continue at one number. So, these are the numbers. 2 multiple 2 is 4. 4 multiple 3 is 12. Now, I would like to tell you least common multiple. Least common multiple. In short, we say LCM, LCM. Okay, the LCM of two or more natural number. The LCM of two or more natural number is the smallest number. And here we had greatest number. And here we have a smallest number, which is, which is divisible which is divisible by the given number. It means this is the inverse of that. This is the inverse of GCF. Example, I tell you one example to understand better. LCM of 24, 36 is 72. Okay, what does it mean? It means 72 is the smallest number. We have bigger than 72. 72 is the smallest number which is divisible on 33, 36, and 24. I want to prove this. So, we analyze 2, 1, 2, 1, 8, 2, 6, 9, again 3, 2, 3. So, we continue 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, till we find both numbers. One. Okay, two multiple two, multiple three, multiple two, multiple three is 72. 
Okay, we studied GCF and LCM. In short, we say that GCF is a number, it is the greatest number, that the given number are divisible by it. But LCM is the smallest number that the given that is divisible, that is divisible by the given number. I'm sure that you know uh, now LCM and GCF. Uh, so find LCM and GCF of 30 and 15. Okay, it is as your homework, inshallah, in the next session. I hope that you understand the whole uh, definitions of greatest and least common uh, multiples. Okay, best of luck. See you, inshallah, study more to understand more. Thank you.